bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, and we'll read verse number 24. And it says, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. These are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's uh, giving guidance to us on how to pray. Um, and God's been dealing with us here at On Good Ground over the last couple of weeks about praying more effectively. Amen. Uh, because there's a lot of praying going on in the body of Christ. And it's uh, even some fervent prayer going forward but it's not very effectual. Um, and the reason why is because um, what we pass off as prayer is not the type of prayer that God wants to hear. Um, in 1 John chapter 5, the Lord said that we need to pray according to His will, and that if we do that, He will hear us, and that He'll grant us the petitions that we desire of Him. And we've read these scriptures uh, many times, even in this space, and we understand what the Lord is saying. We have to pray according to His will. Um, but those are the only prayers that He hears. Those are the only prayers that compel a response from God. Um, and if we pray those types of prayers, we are told that we can have confidence. Amen. So much confidence that we can believe that we receive what we've asked for as we're praying. Praise be unto God. And so God is bringing us to a higher level, a higher level of, 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 of prayer. And it's our prayer here at, at, at the Encouraging Word that we will all pay heed because God is desiring to do great and mighty things in the earth, but he needs to do it through his faithful children, those who are in communication with him in the proper fashion. And the only way we can do that is going to be through our prayer life. God wants us to be effective in our prayers. So how we're going to do that? We're going to pray according to His will, and then we're going to stand, believing that we receive right then and there as we pray, because we know we prayed according to the Word of God, to the will of God, and now we're going to have what we have asked God for. And so let us be encouraged then. If you have been praying for something, and it hasn't seemed to happen, and maybe you feel, even you sense, that your prayers aren't that effective. Take a step back. Don't keep knocking your head against the spiritual wall. Amen. Take a step back. See what you've been praying, how you've been praying, and in what spirit. See if you've been praying according to the will of God, or if you've just been praying your own desires. Because remember, it's, it's not my will, but thy will be done. So. See if you're praying according to the will of God, which is revealed in His Word. And if you're not, just make the change. And when you do pray according to His will, you now can have a boldness and a confidence that your prayer has been answered. And you can begin believing that you receive right then and there. And then you continue to hold on until the answer to your prayer moves out of the spirit realm into the natural realm and into your hands. So be encouraged. Amen. Be encouraged. God is looking to do something through you and through your prayer life. So until next time, be encouraged. Be strengthened. Amen. And know that Jesus is Lord and He loves you and His love never fails. Come through the fire. Come through the fire. Come through the rain. But God, He never. He never.